we know that you were born magical. We know that you are intuitive and we know that you are brimming with everyday enchantment. Here at the Sisters Enchanted, we believe in intention, we believe in intuition, and we believe in everyday magic. Welcome in to the Expedition to Soul podcast. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to this episode of the Expedition to Soul podcast. Uh, yeah. um, I'm Anna, co-founder here at the Sisters Enchanted, and as you know, I'm joined by the lovely Sarah Milne, our one of our teachers, our program de- uh, our program director, star deliverer of programs, and we love her. Thank you so much, Sarah, for being here. It's great to be here always. Yes, we are here with another astrology forecast. Mm -hmm. Um, So Sarah, what do we have going on this week and what three tips do we need to conquer? Yeah, we need to conquer. So Mercury is joining the Pisces party this week. (laughs) So this week we have the sun, we have Jupiter, we have Neptune, all in Pisces and Mercury joining in. So that's a lot of Pisces energy. So of course we know Mercury rules our thinking and our perception and our communication. So when Mercury's in Pisces, we can feel a little bit cloudy, a bit cloudy, a little bit, we're going to be a bit foggy in our thinking. But of course, we're also going to bring that imagination and intuition into our logical mind. So it's kind of, it's, it might be foggy, but there's some real kind of cool things that happen when Mercury is in Pisces as well. So how are we going to survive this brain fog? So these are my hot tips. Use your planner, use your diaries, your to-do lists, your alerts, your alarms. You're going to need some help to keep your mind focused on task for this period of time. So, and you don't want to be forgetting important things. So, you know, this is this is going to be the time where it could be like a really important appointment and you've missed, forgotten it so make sure you really make the most of planners diaries all those alerts have your phone alarming for various things that will be super helpful number two be patient with other people because remember we talked about this before um, on these podcasts it's really easy just to think this is all happening to me but it's happening to everybody else as well So other people are going to be feeling the brain fog too, and our perceptions with each other are going to be a bit cloudy. Our communications with people can be a bit cloudy. So be patient with people, especially if it's kind of that's not what I meant. You got it wrong. Uh, Just be patient. Count to ten, and don't like. Otherwise, we might all get a little bit tense with each other in this time because we're going to get overwhelmed with our own feelings, with each other's feelings, and we're going to misunderstand each other. So just be patient with others and yourself and again make the most of this really this really great period of imaginative thinking we've talked about imagination and creativity now we can really be imaginative in our in our thinking so if there's things where you've kind of been trying to get around something or try and solve something in your life or in your work you can think about it in a different way think about it creatively and use your imagination in your kind of logical thinking bring those things together uh, yeah and my tips for the week so last week I thought last week was some juicy card pulls well we are going to be handed here some more interesting card pulls because mm-hmm. On this day, to get you through the week, here is your message. Your message from the cards is I pulled the Hierophant, Mm. the Hierophant, and the Seven of Swords again. Mm, Wow. Again. Last week. I know, friends. The Seven of Swords. It's still here, which Mm. is very interesting because Sarah was just talking about complications in communication Mm. and really having to like check in with yourself. Mm. And again, the seven of swords and especially this depiction uh, is really talking to like, don't do anything to like put your own foot in your mouth. (laughs) You know, don't do anything. Don't say anything that you might regret later. Mm. Um, Be conscious that like sometimes we have to behave like 
we have to be held accountable for communications. And that oftentimes if there is miscommunication, that it's between both people and not just the fault of one person. And so that seven of swords energy here again is showing up in a different energy in the fact that it's like, don't do something that you know is going to hurt you later. Like don't say something that's going to hurt you later or don't get caught up in blaming yourself so much because something went wrong and something somebody got hurt due to words and communication that you beat yourself up for it. And the most important thing here with that Hierophant card is really circling back into the self and looking at yourself as your own teacher in these moments and not looking for outside opinions on like where you went wrong. I can't believe that they think I said this. No, no, this is the time to reflect on yourself and be your own teacher and to reference back and do some of that shadow work, which is also really great to do during Mercury times and especially Pisces times when things are a little bit shadowy and communication can be a little bit murky and mucky to really hold yourself accountable and learn lessons from yourself because you're your own greatest teacher. And that is your message this week. Brilliant. There it is. I'm excited. Astro forecasts are getting some some yeah. heavy messages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Loving it. Loving it. Yeah. So anything to sum up? Any last words about this Mercury influence that's happening? Yeah, it's patience with yourself. I think use communication. Now you've methods to help you, planners, diaries. Be patient with yourself, patient with other people. Yeah. It's a bit like that sort of um it's it's a bit similar to sometimes the Mercury retrograde kind of energy, this kind of fogginess, but it's it's more fog, you know, it's fog. And just make sure that you use that imaginative thinking. Yeah. I will say as a final note with that seven of swords energy Mm -hmm. and and Sarah's tip to use journals and planners that if you do have to have a communication with somebody or you have something that you need to say, jot down bullet points of what you need to say or write it down as like a letter so that you can read it so that your thoughts are Mm -hmm. are firmly and cleanly lined up so that you don't just. I was thinking exactly the same thing. If you've got to have an important conversation with someone right now then yeah do that write down very clearly your objectives what you need to get out of it and yeah if you can write down the message and then sort of have it have the notes there if it's a that'll help that seven of swords mercury energy absolutely Absolutely. good stuff well I guess on that note, I will thank you all for joining us for another astrology forecast here as a part of the Expedition to Soul podcast. And as always, head over to expeditionastrology.com and get on our wait list. Know all things, get like in the boat for all things astrology and join us when the time comes to, to start the next round of Expedition Astrology. We'd love to see you there. All right. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you. Bye.